Crazy Taxi is a score attack racing game developed by Hitmaker and published by Sega. The game first appeared in arcades in 1999 and was very successful. Because of this, Sega prompted the ports of the arcade version to the Dreamcast in the year 2000 and was the fifth best selling game for the Dreamcast, selling well over 1 million copies. The game has the player assume the role of a taxi driver who must accumulate money by delivering passengers to the destinations as fast as possible, earning tips by performing crazy stunts before the time runs out. The original arcade game was developed by Hitmaker as a variation from the then current arcade titles. Crazy Taxi producer Kenji Kano noted that the time extension on the gameplay was a breakaway of the current 100 yen for 3 minutes that persisted at the time for arcade games and rewarded players with longer playing times by performing well in the game. In addition to providing a game that could be played in short sessions, Kano wanted the game to explore daily life and routines of a taxi driver. In the development of the Dreamcast version of the original arcade game, the developers included a larger map in addition to the arcade one as to create a feeling of being lost and allowing the home console players to have fun learning the town. Mini games were developed for the version as the let the player play longer if the skills improve by offering challenges that were both fun and educational. Over 100 different ideas for mini games were developed by the team but then pared down for the Crazy Box minigame challenges in the game. Hitmaker tried to make an online version of Crazy Taxi exclusive to Xbox, but they had other ideas. It would include a night and day cycle, each with a different set of passengers and destinations, whilst reusing and graphically updating the maps from Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. Ultimately, both multiplayer day and night cycles were dropped and worked on Crazy Taxi Next was transformed into Crazy Taxi 3, High Roller, which included some of the nighttime driving concepts suggested by Next. Kenji Kano has noted that the gameplay in Crazy Taxi Next series has otherwise not evolved with each of the new games, because basically the whole point of the game is to have a lot of fun in a short period of time, and it is a very concentrated game. So instead of trying to evolve the series necessarily, it's more like taking the concept and putting it in different places, seeing how it works. The Crazy Taxi games all employed the same fundamental rules and mechanics. The player controls one of the several taxi drivers in a fictional city, looking for fares and then taking them to their destination as fast as possible. The player must perform this whilst the time remains on an overall gameplay clock. Passengers looking for rides are indicated by a overhead marker that is coloured to represent the distance of their intended destination. The colour markers range from red, indicating short trips, yellow to indicate a intermediate destination, and green to indicate there is a long journey. When the passenger is picked up, the player is awarded an additional time on the countdown clock. Furthermore, a second countdown is started, representing how quickly the passenger needs to get there. Whilst the passenger is in the taxi, a large green arrow is shown on the player's hub that points in the general direction that your passenger wants to go, helping you overall to just guide through the map. This can get really intense and you can understand why. Imagine holding in that taxi driver with the passenger with the green arrow above your head and the timer is saying 10 seconds left and you have no idea what the destination is, so you're trying your best to get through all this traffic and obstacles. Eventually your patience will run thin and everything just gets crashed out of the way. Just real good fun. The player can use special crazy stunts, moves such as a drift, jump and near misses and consecutive combos of these to earn extra money. If the destination is reached in time, the player is paid based on the distance driven and the possible time bonus based on how quickly you reach the destination. If the passenger's countdown drops to zero, then they will exit the taxi and you will be required to look for another fare. The game continues in this mode as long as there's time on the clock. Once the clock reaches to zero, the game is over, and the player will be ranked based on what they earned. Crazy Taxi is a timeless classic that is still enjoyed to this day. 
a true testament in terms of what the human mind can come up with in terms of short time lived entertainment. A lot of people say that arcade games are dying, however I see plenty of people still playing Crazy Taxi and still making us happy after all this time, and I think that is truly magical. Hope you enjoyed the show, make sure to like my Facebook, follow my Twitter and subscribe to my channel to me to get the most updates from this channel whenever you like. That's all I've got time for and I hope you enjoyed the video, bye bye and have a great day.